Greetings everyone, Core here, and it's time for another unboxing, just like the title says. And this month it's going to be the June box for the Legion of Collectors, and it's the Suicide Squad theme. And of course, just got this, so still sealed. Let's get into it while, wow. of course, they talk. <laughs> um, so far from the DC Funko boxes, um, this is probably my most anticipated one to see what's in it because, for one thing, the first one, the Batman vs. Superman one, you knew what pop you were getting. You were getting Armored Batman, which was cool, and I like it. Uh, as you can see here, here's the inside of the box, which is a little different. It's not uh, comic-y, it's more of the movie. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It has like all their, I guess you could say like wanted poster kind of profiles and portraits. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so this one I was actually interested in because I'm wondering what pop you get. <laughs> Granted, the movie doesn't come out until next month, so might be a little bit of a spoiler. But first thing out of the box is our pen, which is a nice, uh, sorry, I can't see that too well, <laughs> uh, Deadshot pen. Which is more of the looks like the more the newer version, so looks like this is gonna be more movie related um, than comic related. And the patch is actually really cool. Uh, it's katana, and it's actually really nice seeing all the little symbols and everything. And it has the Suicide Squad logo and everything like that. It's actually really cool. That's probably my favorite patch so far. And let's go. Let me see what else I got. Mm -hmm. So first thing, it's down so it's easier. Uh, you get your little uh, pamphlet, which is these are always really cool to see what the process was for them going through this. Which, if you like, you can go ahead and screen cap that so you can read it yourself. But it's really interesting, and of course, the pop is not spoiled for me. But next month's box is going to be. Uh, women of DC, so that's going to be pretty interesting to see what comes in that one. And of course, the comic is Suicide, Suicide Squad number one. I think this is the Rebirth one, but this is probably one of the more cooler, more animated um, covers that they've done with the Harley Quinn because she's in the pop style, but it's more livelier, I guess you could say. It's not. Uh, you know, like the other ones, like the shirts and everything like that, where they're pretty static. There's not too much going on with their movements, but this one has a really cool look and design to it. So that's really cool. <laughs> it's actually probably my second favorite variant so far from all these comics. And next is the shirt, which, like I said, I always get multiple shirts, which is a nice kind of gray-blue color. And of course, it's the cotton polyester look, which is, has the whole gang, the Suicide Squad, with the Joker leading the front. Uh, it has Katana, Harley Quinn, uh, Deadshot, and. Uh, what was that? That's um, uh, the guy that the guy that pretty much gets put in charge when they go on the missions. Uh, I can't think of his name right now. So I think it's Flag? It's Captain Flag? Something like that. But yeah, so. That's actually really cool. It's really nice seeing the you can see the design a little better. The little cityscape and everything, the you know, the little dead eyes for the O for the oh well for the Q for the Suicide Squad. So that's really cool. It's actually a really nice shirt. And yeah, it is the it's really soft. Oh, it's actually hundred percent cotton, then back to hundred percent cotton, that's really nice. Uh next thing out of the box. Oh cool, it's a little I guess they call them reaction figures. So you got Joker, which let's go ahead and open them up because, like I said, I always get two. So why not open one for display? And he has he's a little bit. There you go. Let's see. Uh, not too well, but <laughs> uh, he has a little bit of movement. His head moves. His arms move. Uh, his elbows move and stuff. His legs, his knees. So it's actually they're pretty. It's pretty good as far as like the movements that he can do. And it's a two, three inch figure, I believe they have it listed as. So that's cool. And I'm pretty sure. Yep. Should have guessed it. <laughs> they're coming in twos. 
You got any Joker and Harley Quinn? Let's. But she actually comes with a weapon, and he does not. Okay, go. So it's the, of course, the movie versions of them, as you can see. Sorry for my camera and for my lighting. It is kind of bad. But yeah, it's uh pretty cool. And she has the same kind of movements, her arms, her elbows, her legs and everything. Of course, she could also hold on to her weapon, which actually has the phrase on it, which says, good night. Sorry, we can't see that. But yeah, that's actually pretty cool. She's a little bit more fancier since you know Joker doesn't really get a weapon. Of course, it's Harley Quinn. Everyone loves Harley Quinn now. And last but not least is the pop, which I don't know why I didn't think of it. Of course, it's Enchantress. <laughs> and she's heavy. She's a regular size pop. She's only, you know, the four inch one, but she is heavy. Let's go ahead and take her out to see why she, so, why she is so heavy. And of course, uh, a lot of their boxes now come with the little cards to go in the box with the pop to advertise some more for more people to buy them. And the reason why she is so heavy, uh, she actually has a little stamp too. Nice. It's because she is about 50% hair. <laughs> As you can see, she is literally 50% hair. And all that weight, of course, doubles the pop weight. So she is heavier. Duh. But let's go ahead and put her on her stand, which I do like it when they have the stands, and I'm pretty sure they added the stand because, wow, she is heavy. She will probably fall over very easily if you don't. So there we go. <laughs> it is really cool. It has some really good designs. It is pretty detailed as far as the tattoos and stuff. I don't know if you can see them too well. My camera would stop focusing on me. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty wicked looking. Um, actually, I actually can't wait to see the movie to see her in action to say the least. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it's actually a really good box. Um, the popper's really good. It's really cool seeing these new little uh, I believe they call them reaction figures uh, or something like that. Uh, they usually do them with a lot of like old school toys, bringing them back. So that's really cool seeing that. And uh, the cool thing, of course, with these is the packaging, which you can see what Harley Quinn she actually has her little diamonds and her color scheme, as well as the Joker has the ha 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 on his. Oops. But yeah, that's that's actually pretty cool to say the least. So so far. Doing pretty good, <laughs> DC Legion. Um, like I said, the next box for the DC Legion will be the Women of DC. So that should be pretty interesting because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a Rebirth comic variant in there. And I'm guessing Wonder Woman is probably going to be the center of it, if not Harley Quinn, since they're kind of the two big females um, You know that they showcase a lot in them. Um, <clears throat> and of course, the logo does have Batgirl as well. So maybe we'll get a Batgirl variant of her new costume. I just thought of that right now. So we'll see what comes next. But next unboxing will be uh, Marvel Collector Corpse. And that will be Spider-Man B. So let's see what we get. Until next time, guys. Later.